Traders, hello and happy Easter break. It is Saturday morning, nearly 10.30 in the morning. Quick little update. Um, you've probably obviously noticed my inactivity. Um, whether you watch this just via straight from YouTube or with the link here, I provide them profitably. And I just want to, you know, I have been absent um, from pretty much the complete month of March. I think earlier on in March, let's just go to my wall. When did I last post? <clears throat> Might have been last week, maybe. Oh, 10th of March. Okay, yeah, so mm, there's just been nothing to update. I haven't been uh, doing the demo trading. I decided to cancel my Stocks of Trade subscription. And I guess one of the main things is I've been focusing a little bit more time and attention on my Forex trading. I'll see that posting up here, but I already post so much on um, other platforms. I thought it was a little unnecessary. And, you know, I know Profitly is more stock trading options sort of focused. It's not so much for Forex. So, I, um, you know, I appreciate that, that it's probably not the best place to post that sort of stuff. Um, look, what I want to talk about um, day trading this month. I've, I, I don't think I've made any trades. Um, let's see if I did. It's been pretty uneventful. Trades were 40. I don't think I did. Let's view, let's view my trades for the last trade. Uh, yeah, Feb 21. So, look, um, in reality, uh, I haven't, TradingView offers a demo account. I've sort of looked in that. I haven't um, made a trade since I canceled my subscription to Stocks of Trade. That would have been uh, end of February. So, well, mid-March went into, so it was like mid-February, so I paid for mid-February to mid-March. But um, what I do want to talk about is MGTI. I'm still studying and backtesting, doing some Excel stuff. It's just, you know, I'm just not uh, posting much properly. Uh, MGTI support was at uh, 170, and it's cracked below that. So, look, obviously I haven't been able to show this. I can't tell you how much money I've made, but I've been talking about MGTI for some time as well, and I think it's... You know, pretty telling right now what's going on in the five day chart. You know, this is pretty dramatic. Um, it's interesting to monitor things on Twitter. The pompers have completely, you know, slowed down a little bit. And they, oh, I was going to say completely gone silent. They haven't. There's a few of them hanging around, but it's, you know, something that I want to talk about. Obviously, Thursday's session, it was again around 12% down. Uh, what was the volume? Yeah, so it's it looks like it's bottomed, but we'll see. You know, it got as low as 126. So interesting stuff. Um, yeah, you know, this is more of a thing that I've been monitoring for. I just want to you know point it out. It's I think it's the U.S.'s largest uh, Bitcoin miner. So uh, John McAfee was a part of the board, I believe, part of the company, and he's no longer there. So, but you know, I just wanted to touch base with everyone how the month's been. I haven't made any trades. It's been over a month since I've made a trade. So, and my forex testing has gone pretty well, um, up around nearly six percent for the year. That's you know not a lot compared to penny stock trading, but I spend around an hour a week, you know, with chart analysis and things like that. So I'm finding myself preferring that. It requires a lot of patience because it's trend trading, um, but you know I'm I'm still studying it. I need the capital to fund a, a, a proper live account where I can short shares as well because I definitely want to be able to short shares. Um, but in conclusion, guys, that's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave a comment or ask questions either here on Profitly or on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.